the sentence I am imposing, which both sides may take issue with, in my view needs to be, needs to constitute a measured response. It should be balanced and if possible constructive, and I'll speak more to that momentarily, and if possible providing a measure of closure, which I think even Mr. This defendant's father noted. Although, frankly, I'm not sure how the Clementis will ever get total closure, given the passing, uh, giving the passing of their son. And having said that, I assure the defense I am mindful of the fact that this defendant is not charged with causing or contributing to their son's passing. But I don't know how they ever get closure. Mr. Ravi <coughs> will report to the Middlesex County Adult Correctional Center at 9 a.m. on May 31st to serve as part of a probationary sentence with other conditions I'll articulate a 30-day jail term. Now, I know the focus of this case has been driven by the invasion of privacy and bias charges, which I just said were colossally insensitive and criminal. But lest we forget or erroneously overlook it, there were seven cover-up convictions, only one of which was even addressed in the defense application for new trial. 